early in the 19th century denmark became geographically quite simply a small sea-swept province of poets and romanticists and painters suddenly appeared to save what was perishing and to keep alive the national spirit the national soul the whole of denmark numbered fewer people than a single region of london yet this little nation lives where a populace merely exists but since christopher wilhelm eckersberg of an earlier age there has been no painter who has won a european reputation till croyer Pedder severin croyer was born in stavanger norway on the 23rd of july in 1851 and had a rather rough start from the beginning he was placed in the care of his uncle and aunt as his mother was judged unfit to care for him he grew up in copenhagen to live with his foster parents and soon it was discovered young croyer had serious skills artistically and at the tender age of nine he began his art education at copenhagen's technical institute in 1870 at the age of 19 croyer completed his studies at the royal danish academy of art det kongelige danske kunstakademi where he studied with the painter frederick vermeeren and in 1873 he was awarded a gold medal as well as a scholarship his abilities in portraiture began to get noticed and it would be soon that his life would be launched on a solid trajectory northward in 1874 croyer caught the eye of heinrich hirschsprung the danish cigar manufacturer who bought his first painting from croyer establishing a long-standing patronage hirschsprung's collection of art would form the basis of the hirschsprung museum in copenhagen he was a great supporter both personally and financially of croyer and helped finance Croyer's travels and foreign residence during the years 1877 to 1881, giving him the financial support needed to develop his artistic skills. Croyer was a friend of the entire family. He continued a personal correspondence with Pauline and made a number of family portraits of Heinrich, Pauline, and their children. Croyer would receive valuable training in Paris with Leon Bonnat, and in 1888 would meet his future bride, Marie Martha Mathilde Triepke. Whom he had known in copenhagen they fell in love and married in july of 1889 at her parents home in germany marie croyer was also a painter and the two would become associated with the skagen community in the northern tip of denmark croyer made many portraits of his friends in their group with plain air paintings of their gatherings and outings marie would be featured in many of his finest works as well in the skagen school of thought they are in agreement to abide by the wise teaching that truth in art is more likely to be faithful and convincing in degree as nature is closely approached and incessantly studied one of the axioms the school has this in common that it is danish to the core that it finds inspiration in danish themes and danish nature and that romance in subject handling and color is its technical ideal it has produced much beautiful work by this principle of truth to nature Croyer divided his time between rented houses in Skagen during the summer, a winter apartment in Copenhagen where he worked on his large commissioned portraits, and travel outside of the country. His many portraits of friends and family are a delight to study and give us a glimpse of daily dress and activities. Interior views of men and women around a table or at beach gatherings draw us into a private world of artistic chatter and camaraderie. The long walks along the beach with the northern glow of the atmosphere rich in delicate hues and footprints in the soft sands are true as we take a closer look at the fine profile portraits croyer painted the modeling is firm crisp and rich in impasto paint as in his self-portraits of the open air the beautifully colored paintings of marie are as natural as if one were to peek in at her relaxing in a chair the pale yellow dress artfully framed by the reddish color notes reveals her delicate features deftly rendered in contrast the deep tonal values of the interior painting of men gathered at a pub titled at the victuallers when there is no fishing well captures the mood and anguish at nature's halt to their work day croyer intuitively finds solutions to all aspects of any given genre he takes command of light and tonal relationships with painterly conviction Croyer's eyesight failed him gradually over the last ten years of his life until he was totally blind. 
he had also been in and out of hospitals suffering from bouts of mental illness ever the optimist he painted almost to the end in spite of health obstacles in fact he painted some of his last masterpieces while half blind joking says croyer that the eyesight in his one working eye had become better with the loss of the other eye croyer passed away in 1909 in skargan at 58 years of age after years of declining health his contribution to danish art and in fact world art is without question one of the great masters of painting the work of peter croyer is awe-inspiring and we hope you enjoyed the presentation if you would please subscribe and give a like so we can continue to bring you many more fine artists and thank you